guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back i have my monthly favorites so this is the april yes april favorites i have tons of products that i discovered this month um that i definitely need and want to talk about um yes so let's just jump in i know this video is going to be long so go get a snack and sit down and yes let's do this the first thing I want to talk about is something that I usually don't talk about, which is nail polish. I usually don't mention nail polish, but this month we need to talk about two nail polishes and a top coat that I discovered. And I have to tell you this to top coat, it's a life changer. Yeah, I know. I'm a bit dramatic, but it really is. Um, the one I'm wearing today, which is by Essie Bikini Sotini, looks like so. It is so pretty, and I'm wearing it so you guys can see what it looks like on. Obsessed with this color, you guys. It's like a babyish blue isk, um, but it has like silver sparkles in it. It's just so pretty. I and you know what? This is perfect, perfect for spring and summer. This is like the my color that I think that I will be wearing all summer long. No joke anyways um so yeah so that's what this is called i think with two coats you're pretty good to go um if you want to add a third it wouldn't hurt but it's such a beautiful color love this the other color that i've been also loving it's this really pretty bright kind of um just blue and this one is called pika blue by sonia kashuk i love her nail polishes they're really really good and they're super affordable they're like 4.99 at target so I love this one and what I've been loving is this top coat. This is Out the Door Top Coat for Nails um, by INM, I think. I'm not even sure. This is what the packaging looks like. I got this at Sally's. This is the best top coat I have ever tried. Like, oh my god, it makes such a huge difference in my nails. Like, okay, so I do two coats and then I put this on and my nails will be dry in about five minutes if not less and like dry dry not dry that it's kind of sticky and if you touch anything you'll mess them up no they are dry dry completely to the point that you can go wash your hands and do your things you need to do and you are good like they won't get messed up this stuff is so so good um I've never tried Sedge V and people talk about that and they rave about it. I've never tried it, but this stuff is amazing and you can get it at Target. It's really, really, really good. So, been loving that so much. Um, the next product I got, it's a concealer. Um, I have had this before, but not this particular particular one this is the maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment concealer with goji berry and i don't even know how to say that but that's what that looks like but this one is the highlight the brightening illuminator one so this is the pinky one and it it's supposed to be used to highlight look at that Oh my god, you guys, I don't think I will ever use any other like kind of cream concealer highlighter thing because this stuff is so beautiful. It's what I'm wearing today and um, it blends so, so nicely. It's really light. It's really thin, but it really, really highlights like highlights. Trust me. It doesn't have any shimmer, which I really, really like, especially in a cream product. I feel like it would be harder to kind of like mess with it. But this didn't have that, which I really liked. I thought it was really, really good. Um, and just overall, I really, really like this. The next product I want to mention is by Urban Decay. And this is their um, lip gloss called, this is by their Naked line and this one is called walk of shame it's what i'm wearing today mixed with it's a nyx butter gloss that i wear all the time and it, i you know it's nothing special this on the other hand it's so pretty you guys this is the perfect lip gloss if you are going for the look that 
I don't want you to know that I'm wearing lip gloss, but I am wearing lip gloss, and this is the color of my lips, but better. It's so, so good. I really like this lip gloss. I love the applicator. It has a little bit of a mint hue to it, and it doesn't look like much here, but on the lips, it's so, so pretty pretty i just really like this i can't get enough of it it's absolutely gorgeous in love with this so so much and it's what i've been wearing i really want to go get more of these because they're so good um yeah i recently bought the buxom lip glosses which the color as far as the color and the formulation goes it's amazing but i just can't get over the tingling like i just cannot get over it I did a full blog post about this, so you guys can check it um, out below where I talk about it. But yeah, it's, I mean, they're good. They're, it's just, I can't get over that tingling. It just drives me nuts. Anyways, I have a new bronzer that I discovered, and I'm thinking of doing a video on all my favorite bronzers. So if that's something you guys would want to see, leave it in the comments below or give me a thumbs up so I know that you guys would even be interested in that. But it's by NYC, super affordable. This is the Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder, and it's in the name F Fire Island Tan. So it's, I believe it's the, um, the darkest one they have. I'm pretty sure this is the darkest one they have. And I love this stuff. It's so pretty. It is shimmery so if you don't like um shimmery bronzers then you might not like this but i love shimmery bronzers to bronze my face um and sometimes i even use them as blush and if they're shimmery they just kind of give you that really pretty glow i really really like this i think that they work really really well and i think it's really pretty um it has two tones of different kind of brown or uh, several different tones it has a really dark one, a little bit more gold, a little bit more grayish brown. It just has, it, and when you swirl it together, you just get those most beautiful kind of tan um, skin. So I really, really like this. And again, it was so affordable. If I paid more than two, three dollars for this, like it, I don't even think that I did that because it was super, super affordable. I think I got it at Target, and I really, really like that bronzer. It's what the bronzer I've been using a ton. I rediscovered this eyeshadow called um, Embark by Mac. It's some um, kind of like a dark matte brown with a, a kind of like a reddish tint to it. I love this. This is so beautiful. It's so easy to blend. It's just a perfect crease color or to make your outer corner just a little bit more on the dark side. And um, if you, I use this sometimes with just eyeliner. Sometimes I'll do like a really simple eye look with a little bit of mascara, something kind of quick in the crease. And then this I will use do it to kind of line my top and lower lash like smudge it kind of like a smudgy kind of smoky look mascara and then I'm good to go so this I I've forgotten how much I love this and usually because all my MAC shadows the ones that I use on a regular daily basis I have them obviously in my palette well this one I don't know why I never bought this in my palette but I have it on a singles and I don't dig into my singles very often because there isn't anything that I like love as much as the ones that are in my palette. I don't know if that makes sense. But I was kind of re-going through my stuff and I saw this one and I was like, oh my god, I forgot because when I first got this, I could not get enough of this. So I love this. It's very nicely pigmented. Look at that. So nicely pigmented. As far as like blending, it blends so nicely. It's just so pretty. I love this. It's kind of like a grayish, reddish brown. I don't know if that even makes sense. It is a matte color, but it's really, really good. It's a good formulation, even though it's a matte um, shadow. Um, the next item that I wanted to talk about is this foundation. I did a full-on review on this, so and a full 
some of my stuff fell. I did a full on um, video on this, so I'm not going to go into it crazy. Just to let you know, I've been, this is the only foundation that I've been using every single day ever since I got this, which has been over a month now. It's a 12 hour wear. It's a full coverage foundation and it's just really, really nice foundation. Love this. It's amazing. Works great. If you want to see that whole entire video, I will link it below for you guys if you guys want to go check that out. Um, the, one of the last products is this body lotion. It's Body by Victoria. This is just the fragrance lotion. Oh my God. Let me tell you some of the notes that it has on here. It has, um, crushed leaves of freesia and water hyacinth. I don't know what that even looks like, but this is the most perfect, fresh, clean, sexy kind of smell that there is and I've been using this every day and I love it and I can't get enough of it. Ugh, it smells so good. I bathe in this after I take a shower. Like I'll just smother all of this into my body and this will linger on all night and even during the daytime like it would still linger in my skin and I love creams and lotions that do that because especially if you get them scented it you kind of want it to last right I don't know at least I do so this stuff smells really really good if you're ever by Victoria's Secret pass by this and smell this I don't see who would not like this smell? It's amazing. And it's been in the uh, like Victoria's Secret collection for a really, really long time. I used to work at Victoria's Secret a long, long, long time ago. And I remember when I started working there, that was my one of my favorite um, scents from them. And it's still there. And it, every time I smell it, I get really good memories. Is anybody else like that when you smell something and it totally takes you back to a different time and you're like, oh, I love that. I miss that. Well, that's what this kind of does for me. So I think that's another added plus of why I like it so much. Anyways, I recently got a whole set of these Sonic Kashuk brushes. I made a full blog post about this as well, but one that I've been loving and has stand out for me the most has been this one. This is the large blending. This is what I've been using to put on my foundation. I just put a little bit in the back of my hand, go like this and just buff it. Because of the density and how flared it out, it just blends your foundation and it makes it look like it's airbrush. It's beautiful. I used it today and I like it that it's big. I could do circular motions. I could take it down into my neck, which I really, really like just to kind of blend everything out. It's just so soft, so nice. And I absolutely love this brush. Like you need to get this. And then there's the blending one for the eyes. That one's just as good. But this one, I've just, I don't ever think I could use any other brush for my foundation because this is amazing. It's so, 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 so good to blend foundation. And the last product I wanted to mention, it's by the brand Simple. I mentioned this in my, I think, skincare video, which um, was up last, before this video. And um, I won't talk about it a ton, but I've been loving this. I just wanted to quickly mention it for you guys because this micellar uh, cleansing water is amazing. Um, it cleans really well. If you have sensitive skin, this is really good for you because it's not going to burn your skin. It doesn't have any alcohol or dyes or perfumes, anything like that. It's really just kind of cleansing water. That's it. Really simple. You can use it on your eyes. It will remove your eye makeup everything it's beautiful stuff it's really really good stuff so i wanted to mention that really quickly for you guys and yeah so that was it those are all my favorites i tried to go really quickly with them so you guys weren't sitting there forever but these are the stuff that i've been loving a lot of new great products i will have everything linked below if you guys want to check anything out and yeah i don't think i have anything else to say other than thank you so much for watching and until next time bye guys